Hi, this is Chris here with Everyday BBA. In this video, we're going to be doing the uh, add borders around a table, and then uh, we're also going to be adding just a making columns auto fit, which um, this is actually pretty pretty straightforward. I'm actually going to record it um, because uh, it's just an easier way to do that. You can also look this stuff up, but I found that some stuff like this, it's just easier to record. So we're going to go ahead and record. Um, we're going to hit record, and then this is add borders. Now what we are going to do is we're going to go and clean it up So after we're done. So we're going to do it in this workbook. I'm going to select the area. I'm going to hit control. Hold on. Let's open up the... This is a cool little trick um, if you're ever recording macros. Just open up the code and watch to see what it does. So um, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to hit control A and that's going to give me that range. Now I'm going to go in and um, update that a little bit when we're done and then we're going to add borders. So we're going to right click format cells. Um, we're going to do border. We're going to do border outline and border inside and we're going to click OK. And That's going to give me a whole bunch of stuff of which I may or may not like it and then I'm going to auto fit these columns and we should be good to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and clean up this code. So we've got a bunch of code in here but what of it really <clears throat> what really matters. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to um, do use current region here. So I'm not a big fan of select and then current region so what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, b11 dot current region dot activate. So that's what we're going to do for the first part. That's going to get rid of this whole entire line of code. And so now we've got a selection. So now these look really fancy, but the reality is, is we don't need a whole lot of it. So we're going to go selection the borders edge left. And we're going to get rid of all of this because we don't really need that. Now you'll notice that um, <clears throat> this is basically the same thing except it's edge top. So we're going to basically copy this, close Excel thin, and we are going to just come in here and put in only the stuff that we need. Now the reason we don't need the other stuff is because all the other stuff is default. So that's why we don't care about it. And so you're, you're, you're seeing that sometimes when you record it's really awesome because you're, you're basically able to do automatically what you're trying to do, which is, which is great. Um, but there are also other times where it's just going to create uh, quite a bit more code that you don't necessarily need. So this is going to be Edge right, <clears throat> and then after we're done with this, I'm going to show you even a kind of a, a, a different trick. Okay, so we are plugging our way through this. Copy paste. That'll make this go a little quicker, and we're actually almost done. So you can tell that we've we've eliminated really a lot of this code here, because um, we don't we don't really need all of it. Um, there's probably um, other ways to kind of trim this down as well, but just for time's sake, we're going to just trim it down to this. So now the other thing that we can do um, is we can get rid of this select. So so now we've got basically a nice <clears throat> part of code that really just does exactly what we wanted, but we just had to trim it down. So that macro recorder, and actually that macro recorder is probably already still running, so we need to turn that off. Do, do, do. Um, I've done this before where I've recorded a macro and then I went in and started editing it, and then, <laughs> and then you come back and you're like, wait a sec, what's going on? 
come from me. So we're going to turn that off before we go click around again because it would basically just record for us. So all we're going to do in here is we're going to just uh, get rid of the get rid of the and we're going to just take the, the borders off and then we're going to shrink these down again. so that we can see them and then we're going to run our code. Now the other thing we're going to do is we're just going to assign the macro. So add borders and auto fit columns and now let's give it a shot and see if it works and it did. So there's one other piece of code here that um, I'm going to show you what you can do on this. Um, we can get rid of all of these. I'm not going to get rid of all of them um, I'm just going to comment them out. Just put a comment, comment on those, and we're going to go selection dot orders. Hold on. Hold on just one second. Okay, so we've got selection, border, around, and then we're going to do um, Excel thin. I'm just going to give this a shot real quick. Um, that does get rid of um, everything we've got here. So let's run through this. And that does basically, so instead of doing um, Go through this real quick. So instead of doing all of this, where you've got the um, actually we don't even need those, where you're doing your edge left, edge top, edge bottom, you can actually just do borders around, um, and that does the exact same thing. So that's really a great way to do this. Um, you'll notice that I um, I picked up some some extra um, picked up some extra stuff there. That's funny. So. Um, that is your solution to getting borders and auto fitting. So hope you enjoyed, hope you can use this. Um, this is actually a good one because you can record, um, which is awesome. And I hope you enjoyed.